So, yes, we are here now for a Heart Chakra Anahata Yin class and um, we have our Zoom going and we have our live stream and I just need to arrange the stream to be in its right places. How are you this morning, Olive? Pretty good, pretty good. It was a slow start, but I made it. <laughs> good. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, and we'll get started in just a minute. So if you, you may be participating in parts of the 12 Days of Solstice Magic Retreat, and yesterday was a lot about ca calling in our intentions for shedding away the, the old of the last decade and this year, and also our intentions for bringing in the new for 2022. So we're still working on that, and during today's lessons, the Heart Center will be very important to the work that we're doing uh, in aligning with our highest and brightest selves. And so as you go through this practice today, I invite you to ask yourself a little bit deeper, what is it that I am shedding? What is it I am letting go? And let it flow with the unconditional love of the heart center. It may bring up emotional energy and whatever does come up for you, just allow it to come up and out. And um, I'm going to begin with one song for the heart chakra. And then throughout the postures, uh, I'll do a little bit of sound frequency with the singing bowls as we get into the postures. So as we start with this opening meditation, I invite you to breathe really deeply into the belly and let that energy rise into the chest, into the heart center, and see the, the heart center as a green and pink flower opening wider and wider with every breath. And start to cultivate the affirmation in your mind's eye, in the center of your being, through your core of I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I know personally I have struggled a lot to fully and truly love myself and somehow, especially this last year, this 2021, all of my self-love uh, negative habits have seemed to come up and continue to come up and I know that this time on our earth is been very tumultuous for a lot of people and the vibrations of oppression and the vibrations of fear have been very strong and intense and it requires now more than ever perhaps in our history to really truly focus on loving ourselves and finding the true compassion within ourselves so that we are guiding our daily lives from a space of compassion acceptance and loving awareness because the deeper we go into the opposite of self-hatred or fear or conditional love the more we magnetize situations to us that will challenge us to love ourselves more deeply and those challenges may include conflicts with people conflicts in relationships and what we're seeing a lot in the world right now which is a reflection of not loving each other and not loving ourselves, we're seeing that segregation is coming back to our um, society for various different reasons. And this is all a reflection of the collective looking towards loving itself more deeply, loving fully, loving and accepting fully who we truly are. And now is the time more than ever to do so. And so as we work through this practice, I love myself, I accept myself, I am love, as we all are love, we all need love, and we all are love, and we have the power to give this love to ourselves. to stop us and is holding us back 
A question to be answered is to the one that we must ask. When the mind tries to stop us and is holding us back, a question to be answered is to the one that we must ask. It is the one who we must ask. It is the one that we must ask. Am I open? Am I here? Am I doing my best? Am I open? Am I here? Am I doing my best? The answer is found in the center of the chest. The answers are found in Nanahata in the chest. The answers are found in the heart center of the chest. All the answers, my friends, are found in Anahata in the chest. Anahata in the chest. Anahata in the chest. Whether one way or another, whether balanced or true, whether understood or discovered, to find the answer is true. Whether one way or another, whether balanced or true, whether understood or discovered, to find the answer is through a little flower which opens. Hare o mani padme, or even a rose inside of Anahata, this little flower it grows. A little flower which opens. Hare o mani padme, or even a rose inside of Anahata, this little flower it grows. This little flower it grows, this little flower it grows. So nourish yourself with the love that flows. So nourish yourself with the love that flows. to the sky. 
palms together, interlace your fingers, press the palms up to the sun, lift the chest up, and let the arms come down with your exhale, fingers still interlaced, palms face into the chest, elbows tucked into the ribs, placing the hands, fingers interlaced onto the heart center. Inhale into your heart. And we'll just open the heart chakra together. You can follow along with seven yam sounds. Deep inhale. Yam. Yam. Inhale. Yam. 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 With your next inhale, press the hands out, palms facing forward, fingers still interlaced, opening the back of the heart. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. Deep inhale. Exhale, releasing the hands down onto your knees. And we'll just do a few seated cat cows, inhaling, opening the heart. Exhale, tucking the chin in, belly button in, back of the heart behind. Just move through these slowly, maybe even taking a couple of breaths in each level of the position. Opening the heart to the sky and maybe taking two or three breaths there. And then folding in. But just listening to your body, following your own rhythm. Allowing the waters of your body to pulse with love and flow through you in this practice of I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. Letting that energy of love for the self, unconditional, roll through every cell in every movement we take together this morning. And when working with the heart, Releasing can happen and a lot of emotions can come up. So it can be really helpful to use your cleansing inhales, white light, gold light rising into the body and your releasing size, cleansing everything out. Letting this energy of self-love be your purification today. Just two more here. Now inhale forward one more time with the chest up, pause, interlace the fingers behind you, lean back on the hands, open the heart. And we'll take about 10 breaths here. Really feel love pulsing through your heart, green and pink light. You are love. Next deep inhale. 
Big sigh, release the fingers, interlace, straighten out the spine. Maybe roll out the shoulders, maybe move a bit side to side or a couple of circles. And taking your time when you're ready to make your way onto your back. So giving a little bit of movement just to loosen things up before we come into a long held posture of stillness. So coming on to your back when you're ready, and our first posture will simply be legs in the air. You're welcome to place your hands underneath your sacrum, or you can also put a cushion there. And so we'll just be practicing legs in the air for three minutes. And we are in this posture inviting any stale fluids of the blood and lymph system to be recirculated by the heart, the generator of our bodies, electrical generator of our bodies and allowing all this energy of this liquid form in our legs to come down slowly and recirculate all the stale fluids in our bodies, the heart center can really work within this posture to pulse the energy out into the field. So when you're here in your breath, just continue to consider, I love myself, I accept myself, I am unconditional love. Let your breaths flow deeply. sigh. <sighs> Keeping the legs in the air, really clearing any emotional energy that might start to pulse through your body as the legs tend to hold anxieties and frustrations. So we'll close this posture with 10 lion's breaths. So starting with a deep inhale, big breath out, tongue out, eyes wide. Nine more. inhale. Exhale, bend the knees in towards your chest. 
pulling the knees into the chest and wrap your elbows around the knees, perhaps grabbing either elbow with the hands. Just breathe here for a few breaths. Another deep inhale. Exhale, lift your forehead to your knees, hug yourself in a little ball of self-love. Deep inhale. Exhale, taking the hands to the tops of the shins. And just start to roll yourself along the spine, rolling out the back of the heart, opening up the back of the heart, as when we wish to fully love ourselves, it all starts with the rear heart chakra, the space of receiving love, as the front heart chakra is our projecting side of love. So we have to start with the back of the heart to allow ourselves to be vulnerable and let love in. Deep inhale, big sigh, come to stillness. <sighs> Plant your feet down about six inches out from your seat. And we're going to take a supported bridge. If you have a cushion, you can use a cushion or roll up some blankets. I'm actually going to do just a fairly minimal supported bridge with my fists underneath my sacrum. So that's if you don't have a prop, you can use your fists stacked on top of each other or the hands interlaced for even a slightly less lift of the pelvis. And if you do happen to have a cushion, a pile of cushions or a pile of blankets, you can also work with that. I just remembered I do actually have a cushion <laughs> right behind me. So I'm gonna use a cushion. <laughs> and so coming into a supported bridge posture opening the heart and allowing the energies of the pelvic floor to relax and the sacral chakra to start to pour that divine nectar of unconditional loving creative life force potential of the shakti essence of the divine mother letting it just sort of trickle up shashumna up the spine into the top of the head and continuing your affirmations of self-love as you allow the energies of divine feminine and divine masculine to unite within you.
support from underneath your pelvis. Rest the sacrum on the flat earth. <laughs> Not that the earth is actually flat. <laughs> and breathe into your hips. Breathe into your heart. Deep inhale. Exhale, extend the legs. Rest for a moment. <sighs> Take a few breaths here. <sighs> Deep inhale, exhale, tuck your belly button into your spine, engaging the core, lift yourself up into a seat. Bring yourself into Baddha Konasana, um, butterfly pose, <laughs> soles of the feet together. And we're going to fold forward, bringing the focus again into the back of the heart. Folding inward, connecting to the back of your heart, and again you can use some kind of support here if you feel, or you can go straight into the fold, but if you wish to place a cushion between your feet and your forehead, or your feet and chest if you don't fold in as far as your forehead does to reach the feet, then feel free to find a positioning that works for you and breathe into that back of the heart, allowing that self-love to clear any frustration or non-safety within the root chakra and sacral chakra, allowing yourself to be accepted as who you are in this space of self-love, of unconditional loving awareness.
Taking a deep inhale and a big sigh out. Maybe you sink a little deeper in. yourself up back into a straight spine. Bring your hands to the outsides of your knees, pull the knees together. Step the feet out wider than hips width distance. Oh my goodness, I'm squishing myself into a corner. Wider than hips width distance and windshield wiper the legs side to side. <clears throat> Looking over opposite shoulder from knee point direction. Inhaling to one side and then the other. <sighs> Clearing the hips as we clear the heart. And get a tiny bit of a twist going here to move that unconditional loving awareness through the organs. And then pausing to one side, so holding with the knees down, gazing over the one shoulder, whichever side you're at. And take five breaths there, feeling into the sides of your body, feeling into the spine and the shoulders. Deep inhale, exhale to the opposite side and taking your five breaths in that opening of your heart, chest and side waists and clearing of the hip flexors, so as muscles releasing old emotion. <sighs> Cleansing breaths out. One more. Bringing the knees back to center, centering the spine. And slowly making your way. We'll come all the way onto the belly now. So swinging yourself out wise and onto your belly. We're going to do a sphinx posture together. So again, you can use a cushion if you want. Um, it, I don't know. It doesn't do tons for you but it takes a little bit of the pressure off of needing to hold yourself up here <laughs> so you can 
put yourself on a cushion and if you really don't want to use the arm muscles right now you can actually go on the cushion and just let the arms go forward and you still get a bit of a spinal curve here if you want to really work on opening the spine and opening the shoulders plant your elbows down underneath the shoulders toes point behind you and uh forehead gaze forward you can also prop your chin in your hands if you feel and feel really cute give yourself some shirley temple time <laughs> and connect to your inner child or if you just need to conk yourself out then like i said just let yourself fall onto your cushion so this one if you want it you require the cushion <laughs> there's otherwise you stack your head in your hands and then you have to keep your head up so that's up to you and wherever you're at close your eyes and feel the energy of your heart center flowing through the spine and down and out the tips of the toes <sighs> And in this posture, I like to really envision that the heart chakra is just shining out with green and pink rays of light, blasting forward that all of that energy of green and pink light and love. So you'll be here for two more minutes and just keep that affirmation flowing and that vision of the green and pink light shining from your heart. So we'll seal this posture with three lion's breath here. So take a deep inhale, tongue out, eyes wide. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly start to walk the hands forward and slide down onto your belly, reaching the arms forward. Taking a few breaths here. And now a deep inhale. 
Exhale, bring the hands beneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, and make your way onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position. We'll bring a little bit of extra movement before our next posture, so swirling a bit, circling the hips, and moving through some rolling full body cat cows, sinking into the legs, into the hips, and rolling through the hips and spine. So just let your intuition, your heart, and the water of your body guide you through some flowing movements before we come into our next yin posture. And let the energy of the heart and the blood flow move through your fingertips and through your toe tips as you awaken the spine. And then when you feel called and ready to come into stillness, we'll move into a wide-legged child's pose. So bringing the big toes together, spreading the knees wide to the edges of your mat, and bringing the arms out in front of you, sinking down either chin to the mat, forehead to the mat, or once again, you can bring a cushion underneath the chest, depending on how you feel in this posture. So check in with your body and with what you need this morning. some weight into your arms. Inhale. Exhale, pressing into the palms and fingertips. Start to walk yourself up slowly. Coming up and bringing the knees in line with the hips. Taking a moment in an upright position just to breathe for a couple of breaths.
and then making your way into a tabletop again as we progress towards our last posture, Anahatasana. Well, not our last, second to last, because it'll be followed by Shavasana. <laughs> so Anahatasana is toes tucked. Um, you can flatten your feet if it feels better to you. I find I just end up a little bit more stable if I keep my toes tucked. And then you start to walk the hands forward until you sink your chest down, keeping the hips above the knees, the toes tucked. You sink your chest down to the ground. And yet again, this is a posture where if you cannot get the chest all the way to the ground or if it just feels like too much, then place a cushion or a pile of blankets underneath your chest and rest here. You may know this posture as puppy dog pose, um, but its true intention is anahatasana or heart chakra pose. Which, I mean, the true intention of puppies is unconditional love, so I guess it, it counts. Exhale, planting some weight into your hands. If you're on a cushion, removing your cushion from underneath your chest, sliding all the way down onto your belly. Stretch your whole body long, press into your fingertips, press into the nail tops of the toes, and pull your spine apart a little bit. And from here, roll onto your back. <clears throat> Coming on to your back, taking a few breaths to establish yourself on the back. And we'll just roll out the spine a few more times, knees to the chest, hands to the tops of the shins. And just roll out your spine and shoulders. Feel if there's any more shoulder tension 
going on and roll into it if you can. Maybe you end up rolling a bit to one side and then the other or in a bit of a circle to try and get all the points of the spine and shoulders pressed out. And again, activating the heart energy so that the pulse of the blood flow is moving that affirmation of I am love, I love myself, I accept myself, I am love. <sighs> and when you're ready, you can come to stillness again and just ask yourself, is there anything else I need this morning, this rising, before I rest into my Shavasana? And if you do need anything else for your body or you need anything to be comfortable, gather it now or do it now, whatever posture, whatever calls to you to stretch out before you relax completely. And as you are ready, allow yourself to sink into your Shavasana. Taking your time to get there and make sure that you're comfortable. Letting yourself settle. Letting every cell relax, calm, flowing in love, allowing love to guide you into relaxation. I love myself. I accept myself. I am love. I love myself. I accept myself. I am love. Every part of your body relaxing into unconditional love. Every part of your body sinking in to connection with Mother Earth. Oh, no. 
open my heart to forgiveness. I open my heart to gratitude and love. I open my heart to forgiveness. I open my heart to gratitude and love. We love ourselves, we accept ourselves, we are love. We love ourselves, we accept ourselves, we are love. Allowing the cells of your body to awaken and unconditional love to guide you back into your body, back into this day. And before you make your way up into a seat, set yourself an intention for your day. Set yourself an intention to carry this unconditionally loving awareness throughout every process of your day today. No matter what you face, let love be your guide. Namaste, Satnam. Blessings to you. May unconditional love fill every level of your being throughout this day today. Blessed be.